Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to write data from CSV file that's in blob storage to the Azure Data Explorer table in the Azure Data Factory. So let's go ahead and take a look. First of all, what we have here, we have Azure Data Explorer cluster, and then right there, that's a cluster, and then we have a database created on top of it. Let's go to the cluster first and take a look. Once you are in the cluster here, uh, what you are going to do, you are going to go to the databases and that's where we will be able to open the database. So click on the database. Uh, if you don't know how to create the cluster, how to create a database, so watch my previous video and it will show you all the steps. So, and here we are going to click on query. And uh, once uh, we click on the query, uh, we are going to see some tables there. So here is a tech browser database there. And uh, now what we need to do, we need to create some table. I'm going to paste uh, my query. Actually, let me open this query here and uh, now uh, close to queries and I'm going to take you right there and uh, that's a table uh, definition uh, I'm going to create. Uh. Okay, so let's go back here and uh, before even actually uh, run our query here, let's go to the open in the web UI. So we'll have more features, more uh, kind of intelligence, all that. Uh, okay, so this was the last query I was working and uh, this is how you will create a table. So we create table, total sale, ID, integer, sale, person name, string, string. And then uh, every for, uh, after every column, you will be seeing colon and data, then data type. For the date, you will be seeing date. And for the floating or real, you will say real. For long, like integer 32, you will say long. Sorry, integer 64, you will say long. For int, int 32, you will say normally int. Okay, so this is uh, what we are going to do. We are going to create uh, our table in this data base. It's called tech browser DB. So dot create table, table name then uh, all the fields and it is going to create the table and once uh, you see that uh, that's the table is uh, created i'm not going to ingest any data here i'm going to show you how to select the data so if you remember that in sql we say select start from table here we simply select the table and execute right now there is no data what i want to do i want to write the data to this uh, uh, table so how i do that i'm going to go to the azure data factory and here uh, uh, first of all, I have this uh, blob storage. In the blob storage, I have a container. In the container, I have a file. So the file name is called total uh, sales CSV, and it has the same columns uh, uh, depending on which I have created uh, the uh, the table in the Azure Data Explorer. So you see right there, there is the data right there. Okay. So close this guy and now. Go back to the uh, portal, and here go to the our. Uh, group and here is my Azure Data Factory tech browser ADF dash dev. Let's open our Azure Data Factory. So there are multiple ways that you can read your data in the Azure Data Factory from Azure Data Explorer. You can use a lookup to read the data, you can use a copy activity and in my case I'm going to use copy activity to read the data from a blob story file and then write to the Azure Data Explorer. So go to pipeline new pipeline and here I'm going to bring a copy activity. So now once I bring the copy activity, I need a source, right? And we know that where our source is, it's a blob storage CSV file. Click new, select Azure blob storage and hit the next and now it is a CSV file, common limited file, we know that. So we are gonna click right there and then we are going to create a linked service. So, so click on linked service here and go to the new and uh, now in the new, what we are gonna do here, we are going to select the blob our subscription and uh, then our blob storage. Now hit uh, test connection, the connection should be successful. Uh, now here what we are going to do, we are going to go to the connect uh, right here and uh, select our container, that's our input container and select the file. Now hit OK and uh, I don't need the first row as a header because I don't have header so we are all good. So we read the file in the source after the source is set up we need to set up the sync and that's going to point to the azure data explorer table so hit uh, on the new and uh, here we will be selecting azure data explorer so right there that's a beautiful icon we will be using azure data explorer custo and hit next now we will be selecting new and uh, here we will be selecting in the authentication method manage identity as of now i did not really provide any uh, permissions uh, to Azure Data Factory to the cluster so it might throw us error so let's see so we are going to go to select subscription choose the cluster and then it is uh, given us uh, the tech browser db 
now we can go ahead and test uh, so let's see if it fail uh, it is failing it's saying hey 403 forbidden uh, that's the uh, permission issue and we see that this is that your data factory we are trying to use uh, to get the data so let's go back here and uh, in the portal and go to the azure data explorer cluster and uh, right there and now what we need to do we need to go to the access control and here we will be adding up uh, once uh, we are there uh, click on the add roles once it show up uh, so let's wait for it it's loading right now finally it showed up uh, go to add and add uh, role and uh, then here uh, we are going to go to the contributor and this hit next uh, go to the manage identity here select member and uh, now I'm going to select my data factory here and uh, then uh, there is only one data factory I have so I selected that now hit next uh, assign and preview so it should be all good um, so it is adding a role uh, and we have given contributor role uh, to the Azure data factory here um, so now let's go back here let's try to test it again and see if it is a successful um, test again failed uh, let me try one more time here so still we are getting some error here and uh, I don't know if it is uh, it's in still forbidden not a thrice to perform action so there is one more thing what we can do looks like there is a more permission we need to provide let me take back and go to the databases here go to the add uh, once we are in the database and here uh, let me see if I go to permissions uh, and in the permission uh, I'm gonna add the data factory so give a, you can do viewer, monitor, and gesture, and all that. I'm going to add data factory as a part of admin group. So now once we have there, so it's called the tech brothers, ADF dev, and here we should select. And then what we need to do here, when it's adding right now, so then this can perform like ingest the data, select the data, and all that. So that should be fine. So I'm adding that while it is adding let's test the connection okay connection successful because this is also added in the groups right there okay so this is good and now we should be having all the permission what we need to get the data and just the data and everything and here is my table this is a so total sale table remember we created that one so hit okay now uh, what we need to do we can uh, as uh, there is no really uh, map in column uh, it's better to have that mapping column so it will map uh, automatically but uh, now whatever the data we have is going to line up as it is uh, let's go ahead and debug and now it should read the data from the file and uh, then load the data to the our uh, azure data explorer finally it's completed and now we can go back uh, and take a look uh, here is my total sale table and uh, i'm going to run this query and uh, see the data is coming ids then your first name last name and all that so it loaded uh, in the sequence uh, how it was uh, presented uh, so that's how it ma got mapped uh, so this is mapped correctly because uh, we the columns and uh, everything is was as it is so but uh, it's good to have the column list uh, so it will map uh, uh, great great nicely you know uh, but in this case is also going to be mapped fine uh, you know as the data is a comma or limited and uh, uh, the sequence is the same okay so we see that uh, that's the one way to read the data from the blob storage uh, csv file and the right to the azure data explorer now let's do other way around uh, so we can uh, create a, a read the data from data explorer and then uh, push back uh, to the blob storage so let me create a new pipeline in this pipeline i'm going to use the copy activity again and uh, now source is going to be our see right there uh, Azure Data Explorer table so this is good we can preview the data we preview the data here and uh, everything is looking good if we want to select a few of the columns and all that we can do that we can write our query here if we are interested uh, so it uh, says, see right now it says total sale take 10 okay so it's taken 10 records let me take you back and uh, maybe we can uh, uh, make some changes so this is a query that uh, our uh, uh, as your data explorer is running so in this case think about that if I would like to get only three columns so I don't need to get all the columns so total sale once you hit enter put pipe sign and then say project project means I want to select the columns by myself sale person first name comma sale person last name and then uh, uh, last name and then uh, you might want to say product name 
okay so if you want to get only this information you can do that so in this case we have only these three columns now if you want to add some columns extra columns such as the region you can more than welcome to do i'm bringing a, a complete uh, tutorial on kusto there where you learn all those details so as of now we are good for this query we selected a few columns but we are selecting all the data lemon rose I'm going to take you back here in the Azure Data Factory and here I'm going to paste that query. So let's select and paste. Now we can preview our data and now it should get us only four columns. That's good. Now in the uh, query timeout, you can put the time here and truncation and all those kind of things. There are tons of information is there. Now in the sync, uh, we are going to choose uh, Azure Blob Storage and uh, this can be let's create a new one actually so add your blob storage here and uh, csv file fine and then uh, we are going to go select the link service and in the container i'm going to choose input container but uh, i will have a different file name so first uh, row has header yes that's what i would like to do and uh, then I'll click ok and once it's done I'm going to go to the open right there and provide the file name. In my case, I'm going to say ADX total sale dot CSV. So that's my file. So I'm going to go ahead and execute this pipeline and see what happened. It should read the data from our Azure Data Explorer table and write the data to the, our CSV file on our blob storage. Let's go to the blob storage and take a look right there. So we have blob storage right there. Go to containers and in the container we are going to go to input folder. There is a not a output file or anything like that. So we are going to create that. Hit a debug. It should read the data from Azure Data Explorer database database table, and then it will write the data to the our blob. Uh, queued, succeeded in nine seconds. That's really good. And now let's refresh. And here is our ADX total sale .csv file. Click edit, and you can see that it has created the file with the four columns that we selected in our Kusto query for the output. So that's good. Now this is a I believe this this is pretty much uh, it for now. But uh, just to let you guys know, there are so many uh, other activities such as lookup. You can use uh, the Azure Data Explorer and all that. Um, in next video, I'm going to show you how to use Azure Data Explorer uh, tab. Uh, sorry, activity as it is uh, because we use the copy activity. In next one, we are going to use Azure Data Explorer and see what other things we can. Uh, do in that activity. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.